Hey everyone, so today we're going to be covering a couple of posts that have taken the WoW forums by storm over the last 24 hours with throttling auction post speed with people using TSM. I waited to see what the reaction was from Blizz after this absolutely horrific hotfix for the auction house. If you're unaware of what Blizz did, they made an auction throttle limit of 20 posts at first, and then they've just been backpedaling ever since. I'm going to be covering the original post, how the blues closed down the bug report thread, and then the updates from this morning, and finally my thoughts on this issue. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe down below, and let's go. Alright guys, so let's kick this off with some background. If you're using TSM, then you can post tons of auctions with ease once you have it set up and you can set scroll wheel macros to post full inventories very, very quickly to the auction house. And apparently, Blizz thought that this was too overpowered and being abused. There was originally no post that I could find that was made before someone went to the forums and posted about the auction speed being slowed down. After this was posted, a blue commented saying, oh yeah, this was intentional, you're welcome, and get wrecked. So this was the original blue response to the post on the forums. The performance reported above is expected and intended, following a hotfix that went into effect a few hours ago. The hotfix is intended to both address service issues as well as address any imbalances between the mass majority of players and a very small minority. Through our continuing work to address services issues as they crop up, as well as other constant efforts to find gameplay issues and fix them, we've observed that a small minority of these players generate the majority of the auction house traffic. The players who generate all of the AH traffic are using add-on driven automation to gain competitive economic advantage over the other players in addition to the increasing strain on the game service. Neither of these things is good for the game as a whole. With this hotfix, we've implemented a new system that effectively gives each player a budget of auction house actions per minute and only kicks in once the budget has been exceeded. This system is tuned so that it should never affect players using the AH typically. Buying consumables, listing gathered or crafted goods for sale, searching for specific items you want to purchase, etc. should be essentially impossible to encounter these new limits for most players. Alright, so the new system will however throttle players who are using the add-ons to run rapid queries to scan the AH for specific goods or buy and relist huge quantities of items. The current tuning values are a starting point for this. We're very much welcome to feedback on the AH activities that are hitting the throttle. If the current settings are too strict, we will want to relax these measures. Now, at face value, this seems like a knee-jerk response to me. They got caught trying to sneak a hotfix by. What they soon realized is that minority that they were talking about isn't so small. So they were trying to address the issues with using the base auction house, which I myself can say that since 8.3 has been very laggy if you don't use TSM and only posting less than half the time when you actually hit post auction. Blizz is correct in that this new throttle has fixed that issue. The base auction house actually is now running very smoothly. However, if you're using TSM, once you hit this arbitrary posting cap, you're instead just stuck sitting there waiting for your cap to refresh. Now, shortly after this first blue post was made, Blizzard realized what an absolute shit show this had turned into on the forums and actually two hours later closed the bug report for this on the new hotfix. And you can see the, uh, the blue post here. As this thread has far exceeded the purposes of bug report forum, we're closing it here. Thank you very much to anyone who posted feedback on how the AIH feels for typical use. We're looking into exactly how this throttle is configured to consider making adjustments that will make it feel better while meeting our stated goals. Thank you. Yeah, the reason that this thread was closed so quickly is the thread was closed after receiving 450 comments in less than two and a half hours. At this point, they were simply just trying to get some damage control in the situation. But I waited last night to see if anything has changed. And as of early this morning, I posted auctions and noticed that on my first attempt, I was throttled at about 40 auctions. And the next time, I wasn't throttled until 90. 
So I'm not sure if this throttle is variable now or if it has new parameters that they're testing. And finally, we have a blue post from this morning from about two, two and a half hours ago on the throttle. The new blue post stated, just wanted to note here that we've been following threads like this closely, looking for some feedback that leads us to tuning adjustments on the throttle, and we've already tested some like a dozen tuning adjustments. What we're looking for is the most detailed feedback on your experience in the AH recently. We we'll really appreciate anyone who has taken the time to share their specifics. One of those posts by a player yesterday gave us a clue about a bug we've been wanting to fix. The spinny yellow weight circle sometimes appearing when it shouldn't. A software engineer was able to write a fix for that bug, which we'll hopefully be able to implement into the game later. Again, thank you. In my opinion, this again is just another damage control from the Blues trying to get the word out that they had a positive interaction and fixes with this. Now, as someone that has thousands of auctions across multiple servers, I understand that even with the minority of players, with a lot of auctions, I am even deeper into that minority. With a lot of my transmog banks having 4K listings or more, here is what I think about all these changes. So first and foremost, Blizz absolutely screwed the pooch on this one. They tried to slide this hotfix by without any feedback or testing from the community that I could find on any post. And not only that, they did this during the worst possible time for a lot of people. If even most of the time a majority of players don't have that many auctions up, right now there are a lot of players scrambling for the Brutosaur mount, and this is drastically going to hinder or discourage people from branching out and trying new markets to hit their goals. Second, I think even within the minority, if they had interacted more and asked for more feedback before implementing this, the community could have come up with more reasonable ways to set a throttle limit even giving them the benefit of the doubt, a throttle limit of 20 was one of the dumbest ideas I have heard in a very long time. And finally, to point out something that I'm sure Blizz really wasn't thinking about when they tried to implement this. So their reasoning behind making this change was because they noticed that a minority of the players had a majority of the listings on the AH. And they think that this was due to the fact that we can use TSM to post thousands of auctions very fast but anyone can use TSM. It's a free add-on supported by your game. If it wasn't supported, then you wouldn't have let it survive this long. And they never even stopped to consider that the minority of players have the majority of listings because they're the few amount of players that are willing to spend the time to supply the auction house with those items for the more casual players to buy. People play the game for different reasons. Some like mounts, transmog, PVP, PVE, leveling, and some people like gold making. Punishing players for their playstyle to appeal to the masses seems like a trend that Blizzard keeps falling into, and each time they catch shit for it, I'm just wondering really when they're going to realize that they need to get feedback first and then implement later. And if anybody from Blizz is watching this, if you really want to start on trying to fix something that's a big problem in the game, maybe you should check out one of the biggest gold selling operations in the game at the moment and check out these bots that are hanging out over here in iron docks i'm not the only one that's made a video about this and nobody's doing anything about it this video has been playing in the background of this video for the entire time that i've been talking at real speed and if you haven't noticed there's some actual players here but there are hundreds if not thousands of bots running this dungeon at one time and suspiciously they have the two second pause time before they sit there and start running back or they mount up into that druid form that you see going right there they just run in and out and they make the same angle every time so you'd think that this would be something that you would more be willing to address than some minor issue with the auction house and people actually supplying the auction house with items well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully, Blizzard backpedals back into the old way and just leaves the system alone. Hopefully, they won't double down or do anything worse, but who knows. I'll try to keep you guys updated on the changes, and if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe down below for more, and I will see you guys next time.